What's up, nerds? It's MTG Man, back at the finest. My voice is a little dead. My body hurts, but you know, I'm here. And we're doing, uh, build your own precon. Today's theme, kicker. Because everything is just kicker. Uh, you know, it's all kicker. Give me an ability that isn't, you know, like a keyword, you know, your trample, haste, whatever. It's all kicker. Um, so basically how how this works is I'm going to give you a deck list. You've got the budget to make it $45, which is about the precon level. And, uh, you know, just this is like a shell and you work on it. So Riku of two reflections. It's two green, blue, red. Whenever you cast an instant or sorcery, you may pay blue, red. If you do copy that spell, you may choose new targets for the copy. Whenever another non-token creature enters the battlefield under your control, you can pay green, blue. If you do create a token, that's a copy of that creature. So, I know what you're saying. What does this have to do with Kicker? Okay, so, if you look at it, you can't pay any additional cost for the copy. However, effects based on any additional cost paid for the original spell are copied as though the same costs were paid for the spell. Notably, if the original spell was kicked, or kicked a certain number of times, the copy will also be kicked. So, we're using Riku, we're going to kick our spells, and then... We're going to benefit off of copying the kicked. Because, you know, kicker is always better. Um, starting off, Fairy Squadron is going to be your one drop. If you pay the kicker cost, it's going to be bigger. But it's really up to you. Uh, it's just to help out curve. Uh, Goblin Bushwhacker. It can make your board bigger. Help you go in for a win. Uh, that kicker cost is fine. Uh, especially if you copy it. That's plus 2 plus 0 haste. Whatever. Uh, Skitter of Lizards uh, can get big, depending on if you have the mana. Uh, it can be kicked multiple times. Tide Shaper uh, is another one drop. If you don't know, or if you haven't noticed, I'm trying to go for a lower mana curve on this deck so that you're able to pay for Kicker, cast multiple spells, whatever. Um, Viashano Branch Rider, if it was kicked, gets uh, plus or two plus one plus one counters. Uh, Battlewing Mystic. If it was kicked, you discard your hand, then draw two cards, uh, which is honestly generally terrible. However, if you have no cards in hand, it could be good. Uh, Elfheim Druid can help you get more mana for kicker spells. Flame Tongue Yearling gets bigger depending on how many times you kick it, and it deals damage equal to its power to a creature when it ETBs. So it's kind of like removal. Uh, Gnarled Colony can get big, and then a lot of other kicker creatures put plus one, plus one counters on themselves, so this will give them Trample. Uh, Gnarled Pack, uh, again, plus one, plus one counters for each time it was kicked. Uh, Sprouting Goblin will search for a land and put in your hand if it was kicked. A little bit of Ramp. Uh, Thieving Skydiver can gain control of target artifact with converted mana cost X or less. So... It can also attach it to itself if it's an equipment. However, you could just pay kicker cost one and steal a soul ring. You know, something like that. It's going to help you get more mana because kicker is kind of expensive. Uh, Untamed Kavu enters with counters. Uh, Verizal is going to get bigger whenever you cast a kick spell. And then you can take two counters off um, to copy kick spells, which is cool. Uh, Vine Gecko is going to make the kick spells cost less, and it can get big. Uh, Volshi Tine Turner uh, is mana for kick spells. Yavamai Eye Conclast is, is, it can get big. It's got a good body. Uh, if you haven't noticed, I'm going to be saying kicker a lot. I'm going to say kick. You really, you should turn this into a drinking game, because you'll be like, uh, uh, probably passed out. Who am I kidding? Uh, so, Korahelm Chronicler is going to help help you draw off of um uh off the kickers and then it, it's just gonna help you cycle through your deck uh elvish hydromancer creates a token of target creature you control uh it's just it's something goblin ruin blaster can destroy a non-basic land this is your herborgs your cabal coffers whatever um halar the fire fletcher is gonna be one of our main win cons so it gets big whenever you cast a kick spell and then deals damage to uh, each opponent equal the number of plus one, plus one counters on it. 
I think I have something else in the deck to help double counters because he can get really big and then just wipe out your opponents. Uh, Lore Mage is familiar is going to help you cast kick spells and gain you life. Uh, Marasa Sproutling will get back kicker spells. Shatter Skull Charger is a beater, uh, and he has kicker. Uh, a Vol Vidalian Mud Singer, Mind Singer, uh, is has kicker. Uh, Mold Shambler can destroy permanence if it's kicked. Myriad Construct will get really big, and then when it dies, uh, you create. Oh. No, not when it dies, sorry. When it becomes the target of a spell or a, just the target of a spell, I guess. Uh, you create 1-1 one, one constructs equal to its power. Uh, Wolfbriar Elemental is another way to finish off the game. So it's got multi-kicker, and every time you kick it, you create a wolf. Uh, imagine you multi-kicker it like three times, then copy it with Riku, and then you've got six wolves and two four fours. And that's like setting you up to win the game. Grun the Lonely King can double its power when it attacks alone. So you kick it with 5 plus 1 plus 1 counters. It's a 20-20. Um, so it, it's like a big threat. Um, Crag's, Cragplate Baloth is another big threat. It'll enter with counters. It can't be countered. Has hexproof. So your opponents really aren't getting rid of it. Uh, moving on to artifacts. Everflowing Chalice is a good mana rock. It can be a two mana add one. Um, and it does have kicker, so it fits in the deck well. Soul Ring, because you're going to need mana. Arcane Signet. Gruel Signet. Is it Signet? Simic Signet. Talisman of Creativity. Talisman of Curiosity. Talisman of Impulse. Skyclave Relic, because it has kicker. Uh, Gilded Lotus, just to add the mana you need. Moving on to Instance. Burst Lightning is Removal. Uh, burn to the Face, whatever. You're probably not going to pay the picker, kicker because it's very overcosted, but you know, uh, shell shell shield uh, can give your creature hexproof if it's kicked, so it's going to be protection for your commander or whatever big threat you got. Uh, Shiv and fire again, you're probably not going to be kicking it. However, you can if you want, and it can remove creatures. Uh, Vines of Vastwood can protect one of your creatures. Uh, and then if you pay the kicker cost, it can make something really big, or it can make Myriad Construct get plus four, plus four, but then it sacrifices itself and creates, like, at least eight Construct tokens. Blink of, a Va Blink of an Eye is uh, Return to Hand ability. It can draw you a card if you really want to, but uh, Cinderclasm is a bit of a board wipe, kind of. It can remove one mana, or one toughness creatures, so like Esp Sentinel, Ragavan, whatever, um, and you can make a deal two damage instead if you want. Comet Storm is, you're, you're gonna kick it multiple times, or you're gonna kick it to remove a whole bunch of creatures, or hit opponents in the face, whatever. Uh, Fires of Victory, uh, can draw you cards, or remove creatures, um, it's fine. Scorching Lava deals 2 damage to a creature or player. Uh, so it's kind of just removal. Strength of the Tar Tajuru can help make the Fire Fletcher get big. Uh, and it's just more plus 1, plus 1 counters. Spell Contortion is a counter spell that you can kick. Uh, and it'll help you draw cards. Urza's Rage is removal and or 10 damage to the face. Uh, Reclaiming the Waste is ramp. Uh, Breath of Derigaz is um, removal. Uh, it can be a board wipe as well if you kick it. Rampant Goth is ramp. Royal Eruption is removal. Sapperling Migration is going to help you get that board wider. Um, and then you can kick it. Uh, Savage Offensive uh, gives your creatures first strike. And plus one, plus one if they were kicked. It's going to help you finish off games, whatever. Field Research is generally just a better divination because you could pay six to draw three if you really want. It's a bit... It's not great, but it's going to be drawing you cards. And again, you have like, I think, $10 budget to work it out. Uh, Primal Growth is kick or sacrifice a creature. It's going to help you ramp. Writer for Replication is going to 
create tokens of whatever big threat you got. Um, Bubble Snare is just going to stop things from attacking you. Roost of Drakes is going to create 2-2 two, two Drakes whenever you kick a spell. Uh, so it'll help flood your board. Sapperling Infestation is going to create Sapperlings whenever you kick a spell. So, in general, Kicker is a bit slow. But if you can grind through the game, you'll accrue value when tokens. Um, Land-wise, Ash Barons is going to help you search for basics. Blast Zone is removal, uh, like a board wipe if you need it. Cinderglade, Command Tower, Copperline Gorge, Exotic Orchard, Flooded Grove, Forest, Frontier, Bouviac, Frostboil Snarl, Game Trail, Guy Reach Sanitarium, Island, Carpulsen Forest, Keswick Wolf Run, Mossfire Valley, Mountains, Rockfall Vale, Sheltered Thicket, Shivan Reef, Temple of Abandon, Temple of Epiphany, Throne of McKindy, Vine Glimmer Snarl, and Yavamaya Coast. The mana base, I think it's like $15. Uh, it's like a so $12. So it's like a solid part of the budget. If you want to take some of the price out, you can remove some of the, you know, like Copper Line Gorge, Flood Grove, whatever. Um, but overall, I would say it's somewhat consistent. If we're going to do a little test hand, um, if, uh, usually I wouldn't, but we're just testing. So... Scry 1 will... We're going to say this is the bottom of the library. Uh, go to turn 2. Uh, turn 2 in... Repulsion Forest. Go in for Talisman. Uh, go for... Shivan Reef. Uh, go 1. 1, 2. And then 3. Uh, Thieving Skydiver. We're going to say we stole a Soul Ring... Uh, go in for Soul Ring, Temple of Abandoned, Skyclave Relic. Go to turn four. Uh, forest, Talisman, Forest, Temple, Shivan Reef. Go in for Riku. Um, Gyre. Uh, go in for Mold Shambler. Uh, but we can't kick. Yeah, no, kicker is very difficult to work around because you want to kick your spells. However, it's difficult because you're not gonna have enough mana, whatever. Um, but give the deck a shot, brew around it. I really think that it has some possibility. Uh, but you know, check it. out.